Okay. Let's say what to say to this. I'm hoping that when I start this up one day, the roses will be blue. <laughs> then I'll be content. It shouldn't be much longer, I don't think. Alright, well, I'll just do the daily stuff and then get another villager house under the design I want, and yeah, it should be good. Big game celebration. <laughs> Should I be aware of a big game happening? It's probably an American game. Alright, let's do this. Nothing here today. That was a D pad mistake. At least the watering process is going to be quicker now. All I have to do is just... Hang on. Yeah, that. We're done. <laughs> That's all I'm watering from now on. Buzz. Get rid of these. They don't play yesterday, so like I'm behind the day. Those red flowers I can use, it's just I guess I have to move them elsewhere because they're uh, what's the color? But they're like one step before these flowers. Right, shovel, shovel, shovel. Okay. I'm just gonna check what's on sale.
still sort of hoping for that doghouse. So, Sefa, a counter, and a bus shelter. I'll get the counter at the very least. I don't know about the shelter. Is this, is this going to be like I caught this in time? <laughs> Let's just assume it just happened. Hey, Shell. Happy Australia Day. Thank you. Hey, Brighton is still on as well. I just ate a bunch of wings and had a nap, so... I've done my prerequisite of eating some form, some form of like grilled something. Also, neighbors have burnt the beans again, so you know. I think at this point, it's just it's just distracting. They're just getting distracted. It has to be like they must be easily distracted, or just they cook and then they go. Do something. And then forget about it. I don't know. What's oh, so good? I made... Well, I did like a dry rub thing and then... I did like a... A garlic aioli that I usually get. But then I mixed in... The... What's it called? The like Tabasco mixed with um, sriracha sauce. That they sell right now. And it's pretty good. But I had a bunch of them and then just was on the couch and I, I guess I fell asleep. <laughs> but it was just the temperature's nice. It's not too hot, it's just warm and just yeah. Sense of relaxed. Okay, well, good. I suppose I want more. But yeah, other than that, I don't really do anything else on Australia Day. It's just... It's a day where you eat food, and that's about it. Not really much else. There is the original meaning of, like, it marks the arrival of the British, but that's, like, a colonial thing that... The only people that care about that aspect are the people that want to, like, get the day moved to another day. That's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't think anyone... ...celebrates Australia Day for that reason. They don't go, oh, yeah, we're so happy the British arrived... ...and did all this stuff on that day. I think it's more just about, oh, cool, it's a day off and we get to eat stuff. So. They'll probably move the day eventually, but we will have a dedicated day for eating good food. They had brisket and mash in your work cafeteria. It was better than most of us. I mean, as long as the brisket's decent, that sounds good. Is it like America changing Thanksgiving to Indigenous Peoples Day? Well, that's renaming it, though. So here, I mean, I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's the closest thing. Here, they want to completely move the day to, like, an unrelated date, which I can understand. I can understand the same thing as Thanksgiving, because... The spirit of modern day Thanksgiving is like about togetherness, right? But then the actual thing that happened is kind of gnarly. Like how the pilgrims treated the natives and whatnot. It's just nah. It's I think with the that sort of thing is 
appreciate the spirit of the modern celebration and then just move the date. It's like, it's not that big a deal. It's, as long as people are still dedicating a day to just appreciate life in general, then that's it. Oh yeah, Scoot's house is done. This is Scoot's new house. There you go. I mean, it's... It's not that different. It's just, it's a gym now. As a kid, you were taught to celebrate the first successful bounty since the Great Move and the colonies invited the natives to be a big, to have a big old dinner party. Oh, so they didn't, they didn't like mention <laughs> some of the, the other things that may have happened, um, that weren't so rosy. Jeez. I mean, we learned about it and learnt every, everything about it. Like, here, I mean, I don't think they covered everything horrible. Australia has, you know, it has not the greatest history with natives, but when it, you compare it to what happened in other countries, it's just like, mm, we're okay. Still horrible, but not near the levels of, like, Thanksgiving and just that era. Anyway. I'm all for moving the dates and changing the name. It's just as long as the spirit of the holiday. And I mean the modern spirit. <laughs> lives on, that's fine. I think as far as education goes... Like, I, I can't remember anything wild that I got taught that just doesn't get taught anymore. At least not, the, not off the top of my head. Like, I think I went to school just after... Um, some of the more insane stuff, like teachers being able to hit you on the hand with a ruler and stuff like that. Like, I'm well beyond that period. I might be getting old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> You believe there's a non-zero number of people who believe the Native Americans are mythical creatures. The education here is bad. I've I've heard stories, just the, the different different bad educations <laughs> from different parts of the world. It's just I think it, it's the case everywhere. It's just some places are worse off than others, admittedly. <laughs> Because that that's the thing about education is like where it fails that's the, the internet is bad for so many reasons a lot of them being social media related but one thing it's good for is just being able to connect with people that you would never otherwise talk to and that's a way to learn and expand your horizons and know about the way people live that's outside of your own perspective. Wait, what's here today? 
Oh, okay. Hopefully this is the real one. What's the grading system like? Uh... I mean, so primary school, which is our equivalent of elementary school, whatever you want to call it. Whatever makes the most sense. I'm not sure how it is these days, because, you know, it's been a long time, but when I was a kid... Oh man, I'm sounding like an old man now. <laughs> when I was a youngin'. Um... It was just satisfactory or not satisfactory. That was all it was. It was just... Are you kind of meeting this measure of where a child should be in a particular area of education? And it was either like, you were satisfactory for that level or not satisfactory. I think it's more nuanced now, and now it'll say like, how, how far ahead you are, or how behind you are. So it's, it's the same system, it's not like A and whatever. But then high school is, um, I guess like American system, which is, you know, F and then all the way up to A. Except when you get to year 11 and 12, which is like your senior years of high school. Those, it depends on where you live. Like, I, again, I don't know if this is still the case, but, um, you work towards this rank. It's like a number that represents how well you've done in school, and based on that number, um, that is like your score, and you can use that to apply into universities, colleges, whatever. So that number is like... The calculation is, is funny. I, I don't want to get into it, but it's, it's its own thing. I'm not sure if it still even exists. I think they're trying to move to like a national standard. Is it like a GPA? Almost. The, so the way our one worked was like, it would take... So, you'd have your... Your top five subjects. So you would take six subjects, and out of the six, five of them would count towards your... Your entrance rank. And English had to be one of those subjects. It was like English and your next best four. And then that was like a, a GPA. But then, even then, it wasn't really a GPA, because... There was, like, your schoolwork and then your exam work. Like, your exams were, like, a separate... A separate unit of measurement. So, like... You had how you did in class, and then that was weighted against... How you did on the final exam. And then based off all that criteria, they generated a, a number between 0 to 100, representing um, how well you did. So you'd apply to courses and they'd be like, oh, you need at least an 80 to get into this course. So. And then university is, um, or college, most of them go, what is it? Failure, pass, credit, distinction, high distinction. So. Similar to the the A, the F to A system, it's just different words. It sounds needlessly complicated. I think they've been trying to move to, like, a, a national standard. If I'm not mistaken. They may have already done it. Let me look it up. I think it's called an ATAR now. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so they have moved towards it. Right, so when I went to school, it used to be done on a state-by-state -state basis, so that's why it was complicated. Every state of Australia and territory had its own way to rank students. But then they moved to a national standard called ATAR, so well, how does it work? Okay, apparently it's a mark, not a rank. That's fine. Got... oh. Oh. No, I think they still have both, actually. That's just dumb, right? Okay. It's still needlessly complicated. I'm not gonna- I, just, I closed the page, I just saw it and... Like, oh, no, some states still have their unique number, okay. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. 
they try to explain the difference between them is like the national one is I guess to show how you've positioned based on national national rankings and just the concept of the curriculum on a national level. And then the other one is like, well, the, com the competition to get into university within your, your state, I guess. That's the way I would put it, but it's probably still wrong. It's complicated, but you know, it's all we have. I don't know. And any red roses, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm up to the point where I'm, the result of these ones should generate blue. I need to move. I think I might move these ones. Wait, what broke? Something broke. Shovel. I need a new shovel. I might isolate those ones and then try get more of those other reds. I don't know, there's no way to tell. Okay, so back to the topic of chicken wings, because it's, like, important. <laughs> You're getting wings. What's your go-to for wings? I usually go... Me, it depends what I feel like, but, like, I do like my dry rub ones, or, like, even just something that's, like, a crispy fried wing. But, in terms of marinades, is like, honey soy is pretty good, or garlic. Um, I like the buffalo wings, it's just I have to get the right sauce. Getting good sauces here is more of a chore than it should be. Um, it's less of a chore now. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm not putting away. It's less of a chore now, but the problem is here, the supermarkets, they sell just bad sauces, <laughs> in my opinion. They're not- they're not great. We have started stocking better ones, like, before, to get something like Sweet Baby Ray's, for example, you'd have to go to some place that imported American groceries, as an example, or you would have to go to, like, some- some artisan place, where it's like, oh, specialty stores, right? Fancy. Usually more expensive. Um... Otherwise, yeah, the stuff they sell in supermarkets just kind of sucks. It's- the barbecue sauces aren't great. Um... They all have, like, this bland flavor. I wouldn't even call it bland, it's like... Oh, it's hard to describe, but uh, any Australian would know what I'm talking about. It's just, like, store-bought barbecue sauce. Anyway, if I'm doing... Like any kind of hot wings, I have to go out of my way to find good sauce. I wonder if this is authentic. Did it just give me the same painting again? Isn't there a ton of restrictions on ingredients and stuff? Uh, yes and no. We do have restrictions, but it's like... I'm not fully educated on the manner, but I do know that there's some things that are banned in Australia. And banned in Europe, but they're not banned in the US. <laughs> one, of the, one of the examples I know is growing up there was a cereal that I loved. Um, it was like... Uh, what was it? It was Fruity Rice Pebbles. That's what it was. And... One day, they just kind of vanished, and, I, you know, I thought, oh, they just stopped selling them in Australia. And I missed that cereal, but I learned later that apparently the reason it stopped was because the cereal had some additive that, um, was just linked to obesity, diabetes, cancer, just like, I can't remember, but it was, it was bad for you, and the ultimate end result was cancer. And so that was made illegal in Australia, and that's why that cereal wasn't available, because it was one of those foods that had that in there. So, we are strict in that way, but... I mean, we do have places selling American groceries, so I'm not sure, like, what the middle ground is, exactly.
like, okay, fruity rice pebbles, they don't sell in, in supermarkets, but I'm sure I could get a box of it if I wanted to, somehow. So, I, I don't know. There's got to be, like, some grey area where it's allowed. Maybe, I think the difference might be that... Um... It's possible that that in those were manufactured locally and they had to stop manufacturing them, but then a box that comes from America, it's like, well, people are importing stuff, so it's, I guess, fine in that regard. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Aren't they banning Skittles or something as well? Or they're trying to because there's like some... It's the same sort of deal. It's some ingredient in Skittles is like... They found out that it's a big no-no in the long run. It was the same with malic acid. Dude, malic acid... Anything with malic acid in it... That was borderline being close to being banned here, but... It's one of those things that's safe in, in small doses, but the problem was kid, because it was being used in candy to make it more sour. A lot of kids were having candy with malic acid in it to like make it sour. And the kids that were eating that just were getting stomach problems, like pretty bad ones. Ah, uh, well, I'm trying to remember that thing that happened as well. Um, hang on. I'll find the story. But this this one made me laugh. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so alright. I'll this is this is funny. This is funny. Um There was like some gummy bear product where a lot of the reviews were saying that the gummy bears gave him diarrhea. It was just strange. It was just an epidemic of diarrhea-based reviews were, were appearing on a particular brand of gummy bears. And so, you know, they, they did an investigation on it. And what had happened was, so gummy bears were using this, this thing called Ma- what? What is it? Maltitol? Um, but it's a replacement for sugar, basically. So it's- it's a sweetener. But the side effect that that thing has is if you have it in large amounts, it has a laxative effect. So what was happening was, um, there was a sale where they were selling this bulk size- this just gigantic pack of gummy bears. It was pretty massive in size. And people were just consuming the large pack of gummy bears. And that's what was giving him diarrhea. <laughs> I found that hysterical. It was just like... It was a pack where I'd look at it and I'd be like, Dude, I would ne never be able to finish that pack. Like, how? And people were just finishing it in one sitting. And that's, that's why there was, like, suddenly an epidemic of diarrhea. Oh, that was pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna go move the flowers now. Imagine being out at as someone who eats an entire bag of candy for dinner because it made everyone so sick. Yeah, that, that's the funny thing. <laughs> it's just... Uh, if you got sick because of that, it's like you ate an unreasonable amount of gummy bears. That's the only possible way that could have happened. When I mentioned the malic acid thing, it just reminded me of the gummy bear thing. It's the same thing, except malic acid, yeah, that's... That's more severe. Oh, 
let's move these. I need a... I guess I can... Uh, I don't want to put them close to the other ones and muddy the water. There is space, but... Yeah, okay, the space. I'll just put them here. But the result of this needs to be taken to the other ones. I just want to fill this area with the ones that have like a 2% chance to give me blue. I should probably change clothing so then the thumbnail is different. Oh yeah, I forgot to say hi to Nova. Sorry, I was too busy tabbing to my... My diarrhea gummy bears. Oh no, that's an out of context clip, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I didn't wake up. Hang on. I just didn't wake up. That's what it is. How am I? I'm I'm good. Day off today. It's uh, Australia Day, so just made a bunch of wings, ate a bunch of wings, and fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> that's that's it. And, you know, just talking about school wings and gummy bears that have a laxative effect. Yeah. Happy Australia, thanks. Yeah. It's just... A day to chill and eat food, pretty much. At least that's the way I see it. But it is, it is a, it is one of those holidays, it's like... <laughs> it's background is pretty damn colonial, so it's like... I'll move it one day and just remove the colonial connection and it's just, hey, this is this is a day. I'd be happy if they call it like barbecue day or something. Just that's cause that's all it is, really. It's just the modern day what we do really is just have a barbecue. I'd be all for barbecue day. And if you think that's a dumb public holiday, listen, we have dumber ones here. Like I have a I have a day off. Because of a football game. I say this constantly because it, it makes me laugh. Just people hearing about it and going, wait, what? what? What do you mean day off for a football game? I have a day off for a football game. So it's just picture the largest sporting event that you know of and then having a, a day off for it. That's what it is here. At least in my state. I'll take the hat off. And then I have another day off for a horse race. So having a day off to have a barbecue, I don't know. I, th I think it's not that crazy. And the explanation is, it's just, well, this is what replaced Australia Day. And it's just a day where we encourage everyone to just chill, connect with people, have a barbecue. Oh yeah, the tennis should be a thing here. That's the other thing, like end of January is, is um, there's like a major tennis tournament on. It's the Australian Open and it's a good one to watch because it's a pretty tough tournament just because if matches are played during the times where it's extremely hot, I, I commend the level of stamina just the players have being able to play a long match in just the most insane conditions so that's that's a thing here at the moment it's just everyone should probably be watching it assuming it's on right now i don't know 
Anyway. Alright, I'm going to do the daily island. Wait, do I need it? I guess for the recipe. I don't need the dab anymore. I found my dab. Yeah, that's, that sounds nice. I think this, the modern day spirit of it is nice. But, uh, I completely understand if people, like, say, well, it's just something that's tied to colonialism. I get it. Just strip that part out, keep the day off, keep the modern spirit of it, we're fine. I guess all I'm looking for is just recipes at this point with this. What else? Oh yeah, my neighbor burnt, burnt their beans again. <laughs> so they've they've had a get they had a get together. If I open the if I open the the window, you know I can smell meat, but then I can also smell burnt beans. So that's four times now and. Just under two months. And I know it's beans because I confirmed it. <laughs> so my nose is correct. I, I guess the next time I see them, I have to, I have to ask. So I'm like, all right, I, I, you know, I'll be like, forgive me if, if this is. A little strange and, and rude, but I have to ask, how are you burning your beans so often? How? Or are you doing, like, is it a case that you like them? It could be. It could be that they like them a little crispy, but I don't know. Damn, I saw the word golden. Like, what would, what would you be making that would have high odds of beans burning? You know? So, the only the only thing that caused burnt beans in our house growing up, um, see, this is this is the weird thing now. This is one of these moments where I can describe it, but like I'm describing the Spanish version of it. This is one of these rare moments where it's just like, well, this is where the English as a second language comes out, but. It's just as all it is is just like it's beans that w that are put in a blender, so then it forms like a they're not liquid, they're like a paste almost. I don't know, a bean paste, but that doesn't sound right. Anyway, it's just that, and then better like a cheese is sprinkled on top of it, a white cheese. We use feta, but like you're supposed to use some other more traditional cheese on top, and then you just have that with tortilla, and that's that's it. So when my mom would make that, that would be the only time it would get burnt because you would cook it in a skillet. And if you didn't watch it, yeah, the bottom of it would burn and that would be that smell. That's the smell I'm smelling. But I don't know how, like, fried, I guess they're just fried beans, pan fried beans, but it's like, you don't get whole beans. It's just like, a, it's a paste. I don't know what, what the English word for it is. Okay, see, that doesn't... Okay, I, I looked it up. So, it's refried beans. That's what it is. But, like, the what we call it is frijoles molidos, which just translates to gr ground-up beans. That's why I wasn't sure. Because I'm like, am I just describing how they're prepared? Is that what they're really called? Anyway. That's the only thing I can imagine that you'd be cooking that would have such a high chance of burning them. But anything outside of that, I don't know, man. Like, what, what are you doing? If I bump into him, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> what? I won't. I won't be like. What? 
how you're burning your beans, I'll just be like, oh, well, hey, I smelt that you made beans the other day. Well, what do you what do you usually make? I'll, I'll do this right now. Dude, it, it would it would have it would have to be something like that because the more I think about it, the more it bothers me. It's just like that. I just think back to that one time where it was just so catastrophic that half the building smelt like it. It's like they would have had to have burnt a large amount of beans for that to waft as much as it did. Because right now, if I it's it's just if I go outside and it's just probably directly near where they live. I still I'm still not sure exactly where they live. But before it was just the whole a pack. Practically like one one side of the apartment complex smelt like burnt beans. <laughs> so I don't know. That's that's the thing that gets me is like what would they what would they have done that first time? Mix in a little bit of salsa and cojita. That's too good shit. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm imagining is they're messing it up. Something like that. Or something in the realm of that. Okay, um, I guess that's all I wanted to- oh wait. I'll go check Happy Home speech. Not that I'm doing anything. Um, and then I'll decorate another villager's house. So I like how Scoots turned out. It's more fitting of the gym. It all goes together. So now I'll do the same for uh, the arcade. It's one of those things that the more I think about it, the more it bothers me. <laughs> just... The thinking about just the intricacies of like, well, how did we arrive to a point where one entire wing of an accom accom uh, accomplishment, apartment building, would smell like burnt beans? Like, what, what did they do? <laughs> I wonder if they somehow got some beans stuck under a burner, so whenever they use their service, just burning more and more. Potentially. I mean... But surely you would smell it, like, you, you would have the awareness of, hmm, something's burning. You wouldn't keep cooking stuff, and then if that were the case, it would, it would smell like that every day. But the last time they burnt something, it was like almost a week ago. This is, this is so funny because where I lived before here, uh, there was another mystery I was trying to solve. <laughs> just, there seems to be just a collection of tiny mysteries here, just with strange neighbors. But before I moved into this place, the previous place, there was a neighbor. I don't know where they, they live. It wasn't in the same part of the apartment complex, but it was in an area that was close enough where I would hear it. But... Sometimes at about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. So, you know when someone's having a party and they're playing loud loud music and it's, it's just, oh, they're having a party. So it was this, except it was meditation music. We're talking loud meditation music. Like stuff that I can't imagine you would want to listen to it under any circumstance, unless it was for some meditation stuff, like, it, it was, it was weird. But extremely loud. Like, hey, we're having a party, a meditation party. 
And I, I couldn't figure out, like... I mean, other than the obvious, like, maybe it's just a sex thing. It could very well be the simplest explanation is the most logical one, but... I don't know, man, like... I wish I, I wish I could show you the music that I'm talking about. Like, I, I can't feel like that would be sex music. Anyway. There was that, and then there was also a neighbor that, for some reason, at two or three in the morning, it would sound like they were vacuuming. Or sweeping. And I know it's that, because when the broom hits the edge of the wall, it, like, makes a banging sound. Or a scraping sound, so that's what it was. But it was always at, like, three in the morning for some reason. Again, another one that could just be, like, a sex thing, but... It was just... Sometimes... I'd be... I'd be streaming... At those hours, and I'd... That's what I would hear. I'd be like, hang on, I heard something. I'd take off my headphones, and then it's, it's that sound. It's not that I'm actively looking for this stuff, it's just... I don't know. I grew up in in a city where like if you uh if you heard a sound like a bump or something, you probably should look into what it is. So you can't shake that mentality. My life is mysterious. I think I'm just complicating it. At the end of the day, I think it's... They're probably really boring answers, but this Bane one is so fascinating because it's just... This one is definitely... I know what it is. I know who it is. I know what I... Like, it's exactly what I thought it was. It's just now, like, how? That is just the biggest question I have right now is... How? How are you doing this on such a regular basis? And what were you doing that first time that caused that smell to be, like, that bad? To the level where, like, a quarter of a building smelt like beans, burnt beans. I've been tempted to just, like, try and throw some Spanish their way, just to test the waters, but I'm not sure if they speak it. If I do it and they respond in Spanish, 100% frijoles molidos, they're fucking it up. <laughs> Without question, that's what's happening. Yeah. The fact that I was right about the beans, though, in the first place is just... Because you don't, you don't forget that smell. Like, anyone that has been around... Been around. Been around beans. <laughs> Where beans are, like, a large part of your diet. You know the smell. Okay, uh, last couple of things. Daily furniture. I will decorate the house. No, no need to change it. It's Australia Day. Don't, don't change it. <laughs> You're never going to change that. What you had before, governor, like, no, no one says that. I corrected a mistake. Hello, governor. No one talks that way.
looking forward to just not having to deal with these flowers anymore. Does my island have a dream address? Not yet. It will eventually. Once I consider it finished. I think if I put it now, there'll be questions that'll be raised. Just like, oh wow, some of some parts of this island look very nice, but why does this dude have like a large pile of trash and a large pile of flowers? <laughs> I'll set it up once I consider this done. It'll be the last thing I do. I'll set up the dream address and then be like, all right, here. Yeah. You can visit it whenever you want. I wasn't aware that was a thing until recently. I guess I just didn't keep up to date with the patches they added after a while. I finally broke and made one of the island is 100% yet. So when you say broke, like why why were you holding out on making on? It's because it wasn't done yet. See, for me, I, I think I've been ruined by just my work. Not my, not specifically my current job, but just the years of me working in the industry that I work in. It's just, when you design something, as someone who's creative or like a designer, you're excited to show people that work as soon as possible. But when it comes to work, there are a lot of times where you'll show something and then it's not quite finished. And I guess people won't have the same vision that you have in terms of what it's going to look like when it's finished. Or worse, someone will be like, oh yeah, this is finished, and then tell other people that it's finished. So I have, I have this thing where it's like, unless I want feedback... Wow, I can't believe I put that. I generally don't show stuff until I am happy with it and it's considered done. It's just easier that way. So that's why I wouldn't create like a... a dream address until I'm done. It's just how I am. It's, once it's done and I'm happy with it, that's it. You may visit it, talk about it all you want. Point out like little things about it and then I'll be like, oh yeah, okay. It's done, so I guess, yeah. So I can appreciate wanting to finish your island before sharing it. That's totally what I'm doing. Oh, no, I found a bathroom thing. Sink. The problem is you get excited for the stuff you have finished that you want to show them right away. I, I can understand that. I mean, well, I don't know, like, one way you could do it is just... Because the Switch can record footage, it's just, I guess, record some footage and then share the footage. It's not quite the same as people visiting it, but it's still, at least it's it's a middle ground. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll sell them. Like, for some of my Happy Home stuff, I stitched some of the footage together and sped it up and put it up on YouTube. So it's like, okay, there's, there's my Happy Home builds. And then for this, it's like, oh, you want to see my island? Go go see the VODs. Or well, the stream is enough to show it off. It's just... Less of that urge. It's a good way to show progress.
I might keep the golden dishes one. I don't know. Like, if I get desperate and want to trade, maybe these golden recipes might come in handy. Who knows? Okay, it's time to decorate the house. With this one, I'm not going to rush it. These ones, I just want them to look as best as they can. So there's not going to be a time limit on them. Oh, reflexes. <laughs> I am on point today. I think that nap did me wonders. Just the power of chicken wings and taking a nap, I'm telling you. If you're feeling drained, it's just a way to get your spirits back up. Okay. So we're decorating Sasha's place today. Or, I mean, okay, I there's the two houses that I consider that are pretty much done-done. I would say Sasha's place and um, Echo. The one's like a tea house and the other one is... It's an arcade. Um, okay. I'm still gonna do Sasha's. These will probably all follow the same layout, because I think it's probably the most efficient way to allow them to have a living space and still, I guess, be able to do what I want to do. With the exception of the ones that are, like, Alice's place is just going to be a living place, but it's not exterior first. Okay, something to match the arcade look, so... I'm just thinking. So the arcade theme is blue and purple. I'm just gonna see what the colors are available. That. Okay, here we go. This is better. And that. Do we have a lighter blue, perhaps? Mm. What about if we flip it? That doesn't look as good. <laughs> Just the pur- I don't know, the purple wood. Okay, hang on. It's a little more sane. This isn't so bad. I think this 
as simple of a change as it might be, that might be the way to do it. Yeah, something like that. Although I guess if the theme is space, it's... Uh, I know I'm going back and forth on that a lot. Maybe that's probably best. No, wait. Yeah. Do we have a dark version of this? They don't have black. Why no black? Um... Yeah, I think I'd be happy with that. Okay. I wish there was more door decorations, though. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Press... Cancel all plans. I messed up. Oh... This is classic, <laughs> classic Animal Crossing menu design. Oh, what's that? You made you made a mistake. Okay, well that's fine. Just cancel the dialogue and then start the whole thing again. Um. Ugh. Sorry, chat. Sasha. I still am not up to the point. Okay, here we go. Alright, don't mess that up. Okay, so... Keep that style, but then do this. And then the door was just... Where was it? This one? No, it was this one. And that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I mean, I like Sasha's house overall. But if we're going to be doing an arcade, so we're going to... Wait, what's this item? Oh, it's just a shelf of stuffed toys. That's actually a legit item. Okay, anyway. Oh man, it's kind of nice the way it was laid out, but it's okay. Okay, so... I think this one I'm going to do like this, where it's like... Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. So I'm taking my time. Alright, so... No, hang on. Change of mind. But even that's kind of dodgy. I'm gonna- I'm gonna end up using the same layout, practically. Yeah, trust the process. <laughs> I have a picture in my head, it's just... We're trying to reconcile it. This is what I mean where I think 
as boring as it might be, I think each of them are going to follow the same, the same concept, at least from a design perspective. Um, okay. I guess let's put this down. Wait, there's no music playing. What is the song that's playing here? Uh-oh. I don't know what song's playing here. I'll not want to hear it. Do 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 do. Yeah. It's just. What is the name of it? There it is. <laughs> okay, recovered. Like, I want, I want to keep the song that he had playing. Alright, anyway. We're going to increase... Because you're running an arcade, so these are the arcade prizes. Or some of them. I wish there was more stuff to hang, but let's just do this and go... Oh wait, what was that last one? Did that ha <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I try to keep a lot of their original furniture, but... Damage? No. These are prizes, though. That'll do. Okay, so what we want... It's nice that I can take my time on this and I'm not rushing. Don't get me wrong, the challenge of trying to do a design quickly is fun, but it's also good to be able to chill. Wait, I have access to the... Oh, right, I do. But I... This is the thing that I'm curious about, is... So the villagers, if you visit them sometimes, they will let you buy items. If I was to place this doghouse and then visit, would... Would Sasha let me buy the doghouse? Because I want that thing for the snapping turtle. Oh, I forgot to check what was on sale. In Happy Home. It's okay. Um, where is it? This is what I'm looking for. gonna come out of the wall like that. So there's a room, right? Have an extra one. I'll I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> I I want to be able to say that I got like no help from this. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Now Arcade flooring. I mean, it's... That's not bad. That would work. Okay, wallpaper.
because we're going with, I guess, kind of like a space theme here. If only that one was darker. That's not bad. Okay, if I was to do that and then that. You know, this kind of makes sense in a weird way. Man. Do that. If I was to go with like, oh, this is I guess inside the spaceship, because outside it's got a very spaceship vibe to it. Yeah. I just have to make things look bright, I guess. Hang on. I wish the half holes wouldn't get the decoration. I think I might go with the star one in this one. Where is it? I must have skipped it. That one. I think this is fine. Okay, so now... Ah, oh, this is... The only thing is it doesn't form a perfect right angle, but it's like, eh. This look. Oh, here's an alternative. That's probably, you know what? That's probably better. Because it's like, it's a private sleeping area anyway. I don't need to do like a wall. Okay, so. Do that. Yeah, this works. What am I making? Uh, I'm doing Sasha's house. So Sasha outside the house has an arcade. I'm trying to do something similar. Ah. Is this gonna look strange? Let's see. Oh. That's not bad. And then... I mean, even... That's... I think that's fine. And then do this. Like, make the living area comfortable. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I like that. There doesn't have to be a whole lot of room in here. Like, I can just put some arcade cabinets in here and that's it. It's just like, the point of this is to be a living area ultimately, but I think this would be alright. It also gives me room to be able to 
But hey, uh, Don Wynn, how's it going? Hang on. I need tables. This could work. Interesting. Uh. Okay, hold on. There is another... Another thing I resort to. It's kind of dumb, but like, I've done it so many times outside, because it kind of looks good. <laughs> it's just that. It's just... It's a teacher's desk, and then you make it face the other way, and then it kind of works. Yeah. I've done that so many times. What are we doing? Uh, an arcade kind of house for... For Sasha. So I'm creating a, pri a prize counter. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Let me... So this is correct, but then get another color up here. Which one haven't I done? I haven't done blue, right? No, I've done blue, yellow. That one. Okay, there we go. Been playing Paleo recently. That's a uh, farming sim, right? I think I've heard of that one before. I'm personally waiting on the Stardew update to land. Work, they're working on it hard. Okay, where are the arcade machines? The only thing is it does make this a little overwhelming. Maybe in here... Let's not be about more arcade machines. I think things that make sense to put in here... I reckon a skill tester in the corner. Because otherwise it's just going to be too busy, and I've got that going on outside. Okay, so... In here I might put like a foosball table. Although I, did, I guess I did put a prize counter outside. Hmm. I'm questioning what I did outside now. It's okay, like, that prize counter can be replaced with other stuff. Uh... Have I skipped it? It's an MMO farming sim. Ah, okay. I think keep it simple in here. Alright, as long as there's clearance on all sides. Hmm. I'm gonna go- I, 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 I'm changing my mind again. I'm gonna go set- I'm gonna go set it up outside. The foosball stuff. 
because I can bring all the prize things in here. I think it makes sense to have the prize counter in here. And then outside, I just put more stuff. Okay, uh, give me a minute. Oh yeah, I forgot about Haunted Chocolatier. I hope we hear about that game this year. <laughs> I mean... You could say these, you could say these are prizes. I don't know, I don't think I'll dedicate too much to prizes. I think I'll just put like a lounge area there. I need the... it should be here. I need the Animal Crossing switch. You're pessimistic about Haunted Chocolatier. Uh, what makes you pessimistic about it? Was it what you saw in the like, short teaser? I guess not gripping enough? It's hard to say, because it's only like a minute or two of it showed, and it's... I hope for the best. Not convinced it's actually getting a release, but nah. Gotta keep in mind it's one guy working on it. He's doing the same thing again, where it's just him working on it. At least to my knowledge. There are some games that have that vibe though, like... Games that you feel like you're waiting forever for. People felt that way, but people felt that way about TF2. <laughs> Team Fortress 2, man. Like, that game... For the longest amount of time, it felt like it was going to be vaporware. Just like, oh, it's never going to release. They're just going to cancel it. But it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't been that long, honestly. Like the next Hollow Knight, man, I'm still waiting on Silk Song. Yeah, I am waiting. I am waiting on Silk Song. I'm gonna play Hollow Knight this year in anticipation for Silk Song. But uh, whether or not... I'll actually get play it this year, we'll see. It was supposed to come out last year in June, but... I See, I trust that game just because... I think they're just trying to make it the best it can be. And they have a track record of releasing a good game. It's the same with Stardew, like... You can't question that dev's commitment probably one of the, the better devs there are out there. Just consider how old Stardew is and just how often the game has been updated and updated for free. Like, that developer has enough credibility from me to believe that it will get released. It just might take a while, that's all. <laughs> hey, you at a, you're at an arcade, you're out of money. Hey, how about you get more money? Oh, what's that? The skill test is not, uh, not giving you a prize? Still want more money? Get more money out. Um, we'll go with this one. <laughs> Positioning. Okay. What else did Sasha have? I mean, Sasha had a frit- a living area and a fridge. So, I mean, we could, we could still probably try to squeeze this in. I'm going back and forth a lot on how this works, but I think this is how I'm going to do it. It's like a studio apartment. It's fine. Arcades eat up all your money. I thankfully did not get too big on arcades. My cousins were big into it, and I would tag along. You know, I guess what probably helped was I just didn't have 
money to spend on them. That might be why I didn't get into them. But when I did, uh, there was just certain machines that I gravitated towards. There was like, what was the name of the arcade game? It was like Gauntlet. That was a fun game. And just stuff like House of the Dead, that was fun. Haven't been to an arcade in maybe 10 years. They're still fun. If you go with some friends and just play some multiplayer games, because there are some games that you can only play at arcades. The one that I, I kind of want to try one day, um, I guess it would require t a trip to Japan, but like they have um, an, a Mario Kart arcade experience and that seems really cool. Didn't really go to arcades until you were an adult going on dates, that's fair. I think at a certain point they just kind of got expensive here. That's what I was looking for. I mean, it's nice, just kind of awkward. I think I need to move this. As nice as that is, I think I need to... Okay, hang on. There. I'll make it work. And then that goes there. You know what, let's just make it a- oh, that's kind of- actually, that's cool. <laughs> that works, I like that. That's nice. There are much easier ways to play games with friends now. Yeah, that's- that's definitely true. It's just like how internet cafes kind of just died down. But I think the appeal of the arcade is just you're out and about. And there might be a game that you just ordinarily wouldn't play. And sometimes, particularly the driving games, it's like, come on, you don't have that kit set up in your house. Like, actually getting behind a wheel or something, or... Uh, those machines where it's like... You're using a physical device to play it. Driving is one of the examples. And then it's just, oh, you're doing it for fun, you got a few minutes to kill. It's the same with internet cafes. I don't know if they even still exist. The question is, can I still squeeze in here? I hope so. Okay. It's a tight squeeze, but you know what? It's fine. This is a social area. Although, I guess, this is kind of dumb, right? <laughs> it's dumb. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I will put the TV. It's just... that That is reserved for the air conditioner. I don't know if it's bad if it's that high up, like... If it's stupid, it works. My head was inside the, t the actual TV. <laughs> I wouldn't call that working. I think this is fine. I just like how cozy it is, that's all. It's just, oh, it's a nice little seating area. 
Um, okay, hold on. I've got to temporarily remove one of these. Surprises are fun. I always love that they they tempt you with some big prize that realistically there's no way you're ever gonna win that prize. So what happens if I put it here? Eh, Kind of lacking space, it's fine. Put it here. You weren't watching for a second. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> Just. My skull was inside the television. Make no mistake. Just, just easy way to get some extra decorations here. For me, the appeal of going to an arcade now would probably be going to a Japanese arcade, because they're... they are their own beast. And there's just so many things that are exclusive... ...to those arcades. Those lights look good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I like them. I want to see how it looks like with the lights off and just... I'm gonna try and make this something where it's just the ambience is gonna pop when the lights are off. Why is it so bright? The lights are uh, the lights are off, right? Why is it so bright? What's that? A Japanese arcade? Uh, there's games that just don't ever release on anything other than arcades. And those, for some reason, they only tend to release them in Japan, like... It's just Japanese developers making games for arcades. The best one I can think of is, like, Mario Kart. There's a specific Mario Kart arcade experience that's completely different. What is causing the light to be weird in here? It's so bright. Why is it so bright? Is it a wall that's causing this, or is it genuinely this bright? I'm curious. What, what's going on here? What is causing this? Because that's lights off, right? It's not daytime here. This might be it. Aha! Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I mean, neutral lighting is fine. Okay, this is what I wanted. Got it. Haven't played Mario Kart in forever. Suck at it. <laughs> I don't think anyone... Well... Mario Kart is just one of those games that's just become this thing where it's just so chaotic. You can definitely be bad at racing, but... There's just things that happen in that game that it doesn't matter what your skill level is, that game is going to screw you over. You know? Okay, I'm gonna do... I, I don't care if this is, like, highly repetitive, this... But I do this style of lighting so much. Um, it's my go-to, but it's three lights, 
but then you treat them as like one lighting unit and then you go like this. And you just arrange it in a pattern. I think the key to Mario Kart is just playing with people that don't take it too seriously. <laughs> Much like any other game that has competitive elements to it. Uh, let's see, how does how does this feel? It might feel a bit cluttered. It's a bit cluttered. So let me... I still like the idea. I think what I'm gonna do to cut back on it... Let's do this. This... Just do it in diagonals, like here, right? And then these ones specifically can do this. It's still all in a circular shape. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I like it. So then that's... The flow of the room is like, well, the social area has that nice lighting, and then the person behind the counter has nice lighting as well. And then the parts that are kind of like, yeah, low-key, probably one person there at a time, it's just a single light. Oh, oh yeah, I'm really liking this now. Okay. Well, there's still more to do. It's like... It'll be interesting to compare this to the other stuff that I've done in Happy Home, where I've just given myself something like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It's like, when I'm not rushed versus when I'm rushed. That's overkill. I'll leave that for now. I want more things on the walls, you know? This is the one thing is just... I wish we had more pattern slots. There's just so much I could do. It's just the limited amount of pattern slots. What else have we got? Oh. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Um. Some of the prizes are going to be these gyrods. That's another way to get more prizes on the walls. So there's more there's more to prizes than just what's shown here. Maybe this is overkill, like what I can do instead is do this now. So get two of these here. I wish there were different soft toys. But that's okay. Um, and then you can also put clothes on here. Which, this can be prizes. Just give me a minute. I'm, I'm thinking hats or just something along those lines. Because there's some funny hats. Bunny ears. There you go. Um, just, uh, just silly things. Oh, consistency. 
consistency. What else have we got? Why is the consistency so strange? Okay, I need another hat that's kind of hanging that way. Yeah. I'm gonna have that as like a, a one piece reference. You can get like a, a straw hat. Okay, cool. I don't know. The art is nice, but I wish they had posters that I guess is just art. I guess I would have to get licensing, but just even fake anime posters would be cool. Or just fake movie posters. They might have something. Let's see what this is. Yeah, there's nothing really that I would say belongs in an arcade. Autograph cards. Eh. There's really not a whole lot here, is there? Wait. Oh no, but I okay, I see. The other, the single one is not a hanging one. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else I can place on here. Okay, let me have another look at it. What did Sasha have that I haven't placed before? Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, you can keep the, some of the stuff that you had, like this. Oh no, you got it. This, every time I see this, it, it makes me want some. <laughs> okay, so you got that back. Um, you had a knife block. I mean, it's a shame because what they had going on with the animals playing a board game. Oh, board game. That could be another prize. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, there we go. this work? It's a little awkward in shape. Ah. Uh. Mm. Nah. That could have been nice. I think this is this is fine, like this looks good. I'm just gonna alter these to be there.
Okay. A uh, wall. I got something else that's important. This is just little details now that I I can do. Uh, where is it? So we need one of these. And we need... That is a hectic light switch, but now we need this. We need it here. Just a way to be able to t turn off lights. Um, and here. That's on the way out or when you're going to bed. I guess you can have a phone in the kitchen. Doesn't fit. That's a shame. Just seeing what else we can do. Yeah, I think we're good. This this will do. <laughs> Although, now that I see it, the TV the TV is still in a dumb spot because now it's covered by the light. Please tell me that here is fine. Please tell me that this as look. Yeah, that's fine. That's acceptable. That is acceptable. Where it was before, it's now the lights are covering it. Okay. That's better. That's more acceptable. Hang on. I changed my mind again. Sorry. This doesn't pop out. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. And so outside I'll set up a foosball table and just get rid of the price counter that I have out there because this is now yeah this is it okay so I have a better way to do a thumbnail I'm gonna hide I'm gonna I'm gonna hide you I can't, I can't put you in a corner. You go in the corner. <laughs> Sasha here. I just want to make it easier for me to make a thumbnail of this later. And then... That. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Ah, there we go. That looks good. Alright. Did I make a face? Sure. I'll just leave this for a few seconds, because then it's easier for me to find where this is later. Alright, cool. All done! It's a shame it doesn't do like the little the little thing that Happy Home does at the end where it just does a nice walkthrough. How long was I there for? I, I probably should have. I mean, I can find out later, but. That was what, like half an hour? I'm hoping. 
if my sense of time isn't bad. Um, just seeing if I want anything from here. Nah. Okay. I'm at the point now where it's just daily island trips to find recipes. That's all I'm spending Nook Miles on. Alright, cool. So, next house is Pekka's, which is going to be continuing the tea house thing. So, it's pretty much going to be a counter where you can pay. And I might have, like, an another one of these tables in there. It's just, like, maybe an indoor sitting area, but same idea. I think it's going to follow an almost identical layout in terms of the wall where it's like, you know, there's there's a divider then on the other side is where they sleep and then there's a, a counter. It's just what to do with the rest of the room. That's all. But where it'll differ will be Ordi's. Ordi's will just be a, a normal house so that will be using the full space to just make a living area. But not all of them will be like a business slash Split living area. Um, okay, so this is gonna get removed because now the prize counter is inside. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a lounge area out here. In fact, I think this will still work. Um, One thing I'm hoping for is whatever the next game is, is like, I think it's fine to have this be the start of the game, but by the time you get to the end of the game, I would hope that things behave like Happy Home, where you can just move things around easily and nicely. Um, that's not quite enough room, is there? This is fine. But I'm gonna put the foosball table out here again. I might save the spot for the big uh, robot statue, assuming it can fit there. I don't know, would this, would this be too boring if I did? Ugh. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get it. It just kind of looks repetitive. Unless I, I went for... The, oh, no, no. I got this. Unless I went for the same thing that I did indoors. Which, I guess, one less chair. Um, I'll go with the blue one. So this can stay like this, and then I'll just get two stools. Um, I hope I have them, otherwise I'll have to order them, but I'll put two. It's the same thing as before. Hang on, probably...
Get rid of some of the stuff. I might keep the rocket. Sample case go away. That can go, that can go, that can go. Uh, Crescent Moon Chair can go. Alright, let's see what I have. Uh, oh yeah, I still have that. <laughs> uh, I'll do something with the throne. I'm just not sure what. Uh... Okay, this is awkward. Does anyone remember the name of the stool that I use inside? I might be able to, to see it again, but... Okay, I don't have one, currently. I'll take these as placeholders, so then I can at least lay it out. But I need to order the other ones. Um... I have a drinks machine. I think otherwise it's fine, right? Where's the foosball table? Yeah, I was gonna give Alice this. I gotta go customize that. Um... Where is it? Oh, there's, I mean, oh, here it is. I'll go customize it, because the, there was an, a nice blue one. Okay, uh, one sec. I've got that one. All right. I guess I'm going to have to <laughs> look for it this way. Ooh, this is the problem. I may have to order it through Happy Home, because I... That's the thing. It could be something... I think I need to order it through Happy Home, because I think it could be something that I don't technically own, and it just came through the furniture that was available in Happy Home. So I'm going to go order it through that. At least I know what I'm looking for. It's a stool, so I just look for it, and it should be okay. Okay, we'll go to halves first. I'm just laughing because I, dude, it's it's 9:30 at night and I can still smell the beans every now and then. I don't know if I'm imagining it, but okay. Uh, first this one. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna think about. So I'm loosely basing Alice's place around what I see. I think that was it. What about oh the rocket? That's fine. Okay. I just gotta pop in to work quickly.
It would be nice if I get these blue roses just right before I'm done with the houses I'm done with. Oh. But that's stupidly expensive, right? Huh. I'm kind of tempted because it could make for some interesting seating. And it could just be a decorative piece. I could probably get it. Because I got the throne now, so it's like, what else am I going to do with this? Um, okay, house was should be here. It depends how much I spend on these. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. So, just easy, two of these. Done. And in that color, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna buy it. Just for a decorative piece, why not? Too expensive. Not worth it. Um, I don't think I need another register. I think I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm going back to halves now. Sorry, it's a lot of back and forth. Ah, oh, I just realized I should have messed around with the soundscapes. I should have given it because now there's the soundscapes. I should have put. There's one that sounds like you're in a spaceship. Crap. It's too late now. <laughs> I'd have to pay another 9,000 bells to put that in. I guess I will, ultimately. I completely forgot about the soundscapes. Uh, This is tough. Probably that one, because that matches the pod. Damn. <laughs> I thought about it too late. It's okay. I'll fix it later. Always forget about the soundscapes, and when you use them, it's just usually the echo one. Yeah. I forgot they were a thing as well. I don't mind the, the nature one as well. The nature one's not too bad. I think for this one, the one that kind of has like a space vibe should be good. Um... See, now... Okay, hold on.
Wait a minute. <laughs> something, something I just realized. Something I just realized. All right, we'll do this later. I'm, I think I'm gonna get another crew chair, and then I'll just make this like a, a seating area. And then this this will be good. Um. As much as I like the moon share, it's kind of making less and less sense now. I do have one in- I'll have one inside anyway, so it's- it's fine. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. And instead do this. Just thinking of a, a good use of space ultimately. Uh I'll get another I'll buy another cruise chair and put it here, and then maybe a table here. Maybe. We'll see. Otherwise... If there's no table... I think this will be fine. I'll see what I can squeeze in. It's a shame to get rid of the crescent chair, but I think it, for the sake of this, it's fine. I just realized something I can do that's going to be funny and amazing. <laughs> well, yeah. And it's, it's only because they're stools. For those that are familiar with what I've done indoors, they'll know what I'm about to do. I think that'll be the funniest part about this island, is just people not realizing <laughs> just the extent that I've gone to indoors. I think that's the part that gets people every time I show my island. Okay, um... Just pick stuff. Wow. Yeah, uh, you'll do. Stuff that feels like it fits in the space theme. Uh, maybe if I customize you. I'll get a few options out. This one feels alright. Oh no, the these are good. These ones are good because they move their hands. Okay, let me just make sure. That's fine. What about you? Just go with things that look like robots. So that, that's good. about you. Yeah, well that's... That works. I'll see how it looks. This one's less about look and more about how it moves its hands. So it can be useful. I 
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Actually... That's what I wanted, just make it look like someone's playing the arcade, and then... Just... people chilling with you. There we go. <laughs> I'll leave one arcade seat open. Um, oh, but see, now that, now that I see this, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's genius. Wait, have you seen what I've done inside my house? I don't, I don't go into my house that often, but like, my house is a venue. Well, I'll fill it with gyroids and then it looks like they're here enjoying themselves. Right. This is my favorite room. The gnomes are security. That's why I like the 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 ones with the hands. It's because they look they look like they're actually playing the instruments and stuff. And then, yeah, I got stuff behind the counter. Yeah, I mean, feel free to take the idea, it's fine. <laughs> Once it's out there in the world, it's like, well... And I'm down here, the DJ. More of them just chilling and yeah. Also, just using the sparkle stuff as well. I thought that stuff was tacky until I started doing this. You know, even here in the bathroom. So the one thing I'll say about this is... The gyroids can be placed on stools, so anything that counts as a stool, you can place them on. So that's how I did a lot of this, is just... I placed them on stools. That's the only caveat, is like, you can't place them in chairs, which sucks. But as long as it's a stool, the gyroid can sit on top of it, so then you can make it... I just place them on stools to make it look like they're operating things. There's a security guard chilling in the bathroom. I mean, I've been to clubs where, like, security guards get that paranoid that they will go not into the stalls but like just be at the entrance they do do that they don't stay there forever but they patrol and like if they see oh there's like a, a crowd of dudes that just went into the bathroom for some reason then they'll be suspicious and go in there so it's just like it does happen I 
at least I've seen it happen. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's, that's my house, like a venue. There's also a little room at the back where I made like a small living area for myself. I probably should have shown it. You know what, I'll go show it and then I had the storage. Maybe you don't go out enough because you've never seen that. I believe it. It also depends when you go where you go out. Granted, this was a long time ago, and the group of friends I were with, it's like some of the places they chose, it's not somewhere where I would go myself. It was like the crowd was a mix of people that I'd hang out with and people that I would never hang out with. So it's just Yeah. It does happen. Yeah, this is my living area. I just did everything required to live. So it's like shower, bathroom, bedroom, little kitchen, and little area, which has like streaming, crafting. So doing as much as I can with a small room. Compact living. Anyway. I need... I think I have another arcade seat, so I'm gonna get another arcade seat. I might have to order another one. Or maybe just one. No, that's fine. Piano bench. Do I... I don't have another arcade seat, really. I guess I'll use the stool as a placeholder, and I'll just order another one. That's fine. Uh, give me a sec. Arcade seats. No, yeah, that's fine. I don't know what else I'm going to order for. I try to order one item per day. That I need, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm kind of at the point now where... I'm not sure what to order. I might get a few of these as utilities. And then the other one is like medieval war. I've been using them to make nice enclosed areas, so... Because I think I got enough simple panels to last a lifetime now. <laughs> well, at the very least, the next thing I build involving it. Uh, or is it medieval building site? Somehow, only 9,800 bells. Not sure how that works. Yeah, it depends on the security. Some security gets super paranoid. For some reason, at least... Maybe when I was younger. I just would always get profiled <laughs> in the sense of just someone that... Maybe I just had a look of someone that would get into trouble. I don't know, but... I always had security guards being paranoid of me and, like, grilling me. When I'm not like that at all. I just have one of those faces that maybe just screams mischief. I did get that sometimes. When just someone looks at me and goes, what are you up to? I'm like, what? I'm not up to anything. You got a look on your face. What are you up to? I'm like, I'm not up to anything. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do is place another gyroid in front of these skill testers, because now that I thought about it, like, well... How am I going to achieve that? Because... Aha! Okay. 
Hang on, hang on. Wink, winking, winking, winking. Winking. Maybe the candy machine is not necessary. I'm gonna get rid of the candy machine. And then what I'll do... You can relate when you were a kid, people assumed you were a junkie and asked... You've got to look to you. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. What do you even say to that? It's just like, okay. I need to get another one of these arm flailers. It's like, you know how people say resting bitch face is just a thing that's just someone has a look and... It's, it's the same as that, except it's like mischievous face. Just someone that looks like they're gonna get into trouble. Sometimes there's truth to it. It's like, sometimes a person looks that way because that's what they are. But then other times it's just... Really not even remotely close. Okay. Okay, this, this, this makes me smile. Dude, that's probably one of the, the greatest little ideas I've come up with in this game. I've had some good ones, like... I did a Gordon Ramsay themed restaurant and that just made me laugh so much. This, this is like, man, it's probably one of my better ideas. I'm sure someone's done something similar, like, this game's been out enough that surely someone else has thought of using the gyroids as little people. But, you know, I, I'm not aware of it, so... I'm just happy that the idea happened naturally. Okay, let me see if I can put like a little table or something in the middle. Otherwise, I wasn't going to do this now, but... There's more I want to do with this place. It's just, I was reserving it for when the house was remade, which is kind of now, so... Okay, uh, I need another simple panel. To begin with, so where is it? Simple panel, simple panel, there you are. Okay. Uh, what can we use as a little table? Out the maybe. That might fit the bill. It's Zen low table, perhaps. I really don't have much tables, huh? Alright. <laughs> Still going on. Stop it, you're being distracting. Oh, I needed to, yeah, it's fine. I needed to customize. Um, let me just see. I 
I mean, I guess if I'm placing the gyroids here, it's fine to just have this here. Or is a bench overkill? Okay, I think I'm gonna say no to the bench. What I am gonna do, I'll just re-tile this with the uh, the other tile. Okay. And you're going to have to bear with a bunch of crafting. <laughs> But I promise it'll hopefully be worth it. I know that's still hedging language, but like, just trust trust the process. I'll tell you right now, like, whatever the next Animal Crossing game is, I'm going to do, provided they have the same features as this game, I'm going to do the good island and the decorating and all that right away. If I was to have any regret about the first playthrough is I just, I guess because of the pandemic, it just was harder to feel creatively motivated <laughs> during that time, but man, if I would have done this back then, Algorithm would have gone brr. Okay. I'll do this first. first on did almost no terraforming or anything fun yeah i think i did i did a lot of stuff that was inside jokes for people that were there at the time but nothing where i was like okay doing what i'm doing now where i'm just trying to make things look as good as i can and just trying to do themes and yeah i probably should have done that back then but it's okay And I guess back then I probably would have had to have done my own graphics. Because a lot of this... The island looks good, but it's... Because there's a lot of talented people that make nice patterns. And I'm just picking the patterns. And just laying them down. And It's like the tool, I guess. Yeah, there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Alright, so let's move this into place. Move this into place. And... Put the candy machine there. Oh wait, that's not it. Snack machine. My bad. And then the crew member seat here. Ooh, I didn't buy another crew member seat. But I think I can still buy one more object. I think the, the greatest irony is just... My first island, I swear, there's a lot of blue roses on it. I got the blue roses easily. And of course, here, it's been 
It's now been four months where I've been trying to get every hybrid. And I'm still not there yet. When I wasn't trying, I got the thing that I've been struggling the most to get now. Wait, what was I doing here? No, that's not what I was here. I was going to put something away, but then I realized we're getting a bunch of stuff out. Uh, I guess I just have to predict how many I'll need, but... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's start with ten. Oh, wow, it's already that late. No. Oh, my God. So tired of this. There's a video on YouTube on how to get all the hybrids fastest, and blue roses took the most time. Yeah, okay. I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about it. But I do find it funny. It's just how my luck goes. Is it's it's a curse. If I don't, if I'm not consciously looking for something. Like, I have no- in I'm not even aware of how rare it is, for example. If I'm not consciously looking for it, I'll find the thing pretty easily. It's only when I go, okay, I'm gonna set out to find this item. Or get this thing. That's when it just- My luck is horrendous. It's just- I, I don't have bad luck, I have chaotic luck. That's how I would put it. It's like, if you ever had Pokemon cards, there were certain cards that were like, flip a coin if Tails' this attack does nothing. That's more or less how I am as a person. <laughs> half the time I'd be like, oh wow, that was lucky. And then the other half, it's like, oh, that, that was pretty unlucky. That was bad. Um, where is Simple Panel? Um, wrong thing. I keep pressing A. Okay, that's done. Alright, so this is where I'm going to do a bunch of customizing. So bear with me. Hopefully this will be worth the wait. Okay, so... Purple. Blue. Oh, it's already white. Okay, leave that one. Purple. You have a higher chance to get blue rose if you have the beautiful island ordinance because villagers will get whatever more. Wait, beautiful island ordinance? I mean, I guess I can't do that right now because I have literal garbage on my island, but I might have to look into that. And the 
last one should be purple. Okay. So, this is like something I've been thinking about, but I'm not sure if it'll work as well as I think it will, but let's humor me for a minute. Hang on. Trust, trust the system. Oh no. The system is failing. Um, if this was Happy Home, I'd be able to do this easily, but just. Okay. I may have to move these trees out of the way. But here's, here's, here's the thing. And whether or not this looks really good, I guess, ultimately, time will tell. That's it. Okay. Now. This one's white. That one. Ugh. Not that one. Okay. Now... Blue. They probably should have put away some of this other stuff. That's pink. This one's blue. Okay, that's blue. As long as it's sitting flush. Okay, next purple. I'm trying to make like a makeshift brick wall. A fence. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> but it, it needs a lot of these lights. That's the one downside to it. It requires a lot of these lights, but that's why I bought a lot of them. Okay. Or, ah, oh, damn it, it went over there. Why? Why you do this to me? Okay, that's correct. It's just in a bad spot. Come on! These trees are in the way. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, so then on top of this one, it's blue. There we go. Okay, then on top of this one, it is white. Wait, do I not have another white one? I think I'm out of them. Yeah, I'm out of them. Okay. I need to go get more. I just wanted to see how it looked first. I think it's I think it's fine given what this is. I think once it's all done and going along the entire back way, I think it'll look good. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to it. 
I only wanted to do 10, so I'm not driving people crazy crafting like 30 of the Well, customizing 30 of these in one go. And I wanted to show what I had in mind. So let me get rid of just this random stuff. Okay, so now that we're more across what I'm doing. This completely explains why I have just so many of these. Hopefully that should be enough. We'll see. That's one thing I was trying to do is come up with different ways to do fencing. As nice as some of the fences are, it's just... They don't fit what I'm trying to go for. Alright, sorry that this is going to take a while. Okay, so that one's white. I wish it would tell you what color, like put it in brackets. Cube light, blue. Cube light, purple. is already going to be purple. Okay. Blue. This is the purple one, so... Um... Keep a purple. I'll make keep this one white. Okay, so this one's gonna be blue. Oh wait, white. Purple. And the other thing is, it matches the lighting on the inside of the, uh, the arcade. Well, inside the house, this is exactly the lighting scheme that I went for in the ceiling. See? It's all connected. Trust the process. <laughs> I didn't plan this out in advance. It's just, just on, honestly, I'm just winging it. It's just, I thought about it now. I'm like, oh yeah, right. I kind of did that on the ceiling, didn't I? I probably subconsciously did that. I don't think... I don't think I, I wing it and I, I just... It's luck. It's just... I'm sure I probably would have been thinking about it. Just not consciously. Anyway. You can feel free to steal it. It's... There's an old saying, it's like, good artist copy, great artist steal, and it's just... It's not that you should steal people's work, it's more like... It's fine to get inspiration from an idea and make it your own. So we need a white one, which should be this one. Okay, now blue. 
Oh yeah, no, hang on, this is where we're skipping on, right? Yeah, this is the fence hole. Okay, fence hole is here. So now I turn around, face this way. And I just need to make sure I got this correct. Um, blue. That should be correct. Okay, so this has purple on top of it. There we go. Um, I just realized I should be working in reverse. Which is gonna be diff... Nah, nah, I think it'll work out either way. Okay, um... Okay, then it's white and blue on top. White and blue on top. Then, okay, there's a pattern to this, and then purple, then white. That was purple and purple, it's okay. This one should be white. Okay, then this one should be blue. Okay, this is easy. Now that I have the rhythm to it, it's just alternating it. And then this one should be purple. Okay. Now white and blue again. White and blue. And purple. And white. There we go. That's done. I was debating whether or not to do this for this fencing here. But it, the problem is it would kind of make Audi's property look bad. Or I don't know. Like imagine you have a neighbor and it's a shared fence <laughs> and it's, they just have these neon lights that are just glowing everywhere. Um, the other alternative I was thinking of was using simple panels and doing a taller fence. But I'm not, I'm not 100% on it. Because see, now this is where I can get rid of the corral fencing, I think. I might do hedges there. Because all these places are pretty natural. It's in the woods. I think cor uh, the corral fencing doesn't quite suit it. Yeah, this is good. I'm content with this. Um, I need to order the other captain. Well, the other chair. The crew member's chair. Oh yeah, this asteroid's kind of randomly there now. <laughs> um, I thought I had a purpose for it, but less and less of a purpose. Okay, maybe... You can put it in the tube. I kind of like the idea of the alien there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. I think this makes more sense. It's just a subtle background element. Because the lava lamp, it was because I wanted more bright lighting. But now that we have this fence here, it's kind of redundant. Now this is, this is good. Yeah. And it goes with it. It's like the UFO is the background element. Yeah. I used uh, the statue because its eyes are glowing. The fake uh, statue. At night time it closed, so that's why I picked that one. The other thing I had, I had the gnome in there originally. 
and I was thinking, oh, maybe the security for my venue is just, they're all clones. <laughs> but this, this is fine. Like, I think this works. The only thing I'm going to replace is the Godzilla. If I can... If I can make the big robot, it's kind of sad that the big robot is locked behind all these items to be able to make it. But, um... Yeah. I just need... What do I need? I need a rocket and I need gold armor. So there's like two recipes that I'm missing. I suppose I should start collecting rusted parts now that I see this. I just noticed I need 30 rusted parts. Jeez. That's a lot. Um, okay, I'm gonna get money out and purchase the crew member's chair. And then I'll do more hedge fencing. The other cubes are spares now, so that's fine. I may do more fencing with those lights. Or seating. Um, anyway. Let's think if there's anything else I want to grab. Nah. Seems fine for now. Okay, money. I don't know how much it costs, so let's just do that. Pretty sure it's expensive. Got a tip for work. No worries, Brightness Storm. Thanks for hanging out. Have fun. Okay. Uh, uh, crew member chair. I think I can't order it. I may have ordered walls. No, I can't. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. So that'll that'll be finished tomorrow. With the stuff that I got from... Uh, from Happy Home. The chairs. And also the house will be remodeled, so... I can take a proper look at it tomorrow. Oh, I forgot the fencing. Uh, where is it? That should hopefully be enough. We'll see. I don't know if I want to mix plants, hedges with with it, but okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Please don't banish. Oh, okay. I was worried that was going to be the case. Alright, so... I think this kind of fencing... I'm going to use less and less of.
I think this looks nicer. Okay, for this I have to... I guess I have to put this away temporarily. Nice. Perfect. Perfect amount. Alright. I may get rid of one gyro, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, just a chill seating area. <laughs> I think I might put him on the machine next to it because... The one on the left shows like an insect coin. Oh no, they both show insect coin. Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, nice. I'm happy with this. Tomorrow it'll look even better once everything is in place. The roof will be purple. The door will be like a dark color, and it'll it'll look good. And with what's going on on the inside of that place, I think, yeah. So it's tomorrow, up next. <laughs> yeah. I did order more of these walls, so I think ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these walls here as well, because it kind of makes sense as well. Let's just, for a tea house, this. And then I think, yeah, I'll put hedges, like actual hedge plants, because then that'll suit here. And then just do away with the fencing. And I think ultimately everything will look good. This northern side of the island is like getting closer and closer to being done. I think this will be the thing that'll be done first, because this is where I just haven't planted anything and so everything's allowed to be done. There's more bits and pieces I can do, but... At least it's headed in the direction of being done. Alright. Well, I'm leaving Animal Crossing here, but I'm not done with the stream. I'm gonna play some Super Mario Odyssey. As that's also... Another thing I've been doing is going through that game again. I'm just trying to finish it. So, uh... Yeah. I'll say, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and... Hopefully you have been enjoying me playing Animal Crossing as well. If you do want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up. Either way, it does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do do that. It does mean a lot. Uh, but yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Take care, YouTube. Bye.